Welcome back to our e-invoicing express series. Today, we'll be taking a look at how e-invoicing works behind the scenes, with some key considerations along the way. Let's start by understanding the big picture, the model, which consists of three main components. Corners, data model, interoperability. In the UAE, the Ministry of Finance is considering a five-corner decentralized model, using PEPL. The parties, or corners, will be, the supplier, the supplier's service provider, the buyer's service provider, the buyer, the UAE Federal Tax Authority. Through the PEPL network, service providers facilitate the checking and sharing of invoice documents. The UAE will certify the service providers allowed to operate within the system. Let's now understand how this works in more detail. Our journey begins with the supplier. The supplier initiates the e-invoicing process through their usual business software. An invoice will incorporate data from various sources, including master files, business data, tax data, procurement data, legal data. The supplier's business software will then send this data to its service provider in a specific format. When raising an e-invoice, you should be mindful of several factors, data accuracy, tax treatment, collation processes, interoperability, reporting timelines. Upon receiving the invoice, the service provider will validate, convert, verify, and transmit the data. This step is sensitive to data issues, such as incorrect or missing details, and duplicate invoices. These issues are best managed by establishing good processes and governance when raising invoices. Other important considerations, though largely handled by your service provider, include maintenance and updates, bugs and downtime, security, handling exceptions. When the customer service provider receives the invoice, additional checks are performed, including data consistency, compliance checks, duplication detection. The invoice is then converted into a business-friendly format and sent to the customer's software or ERP system. The considerations for the customer service provider are largely the same as for the supplier service provider. The customer's business software records the invoice in the appropriate places. This entry may trigger new processes. At this stage, it's important to keep an eye on controls, interoperability, auditability, Simultaneously, while sharing with the buyer's service provider, the supplier's service provider will also send an extract of relevant invoice data to the UAE Ministry of Finance and Federal Tax Authority. While the service provider handles this, suppliers and buyers alike will need to understand what is being reported. Whether you're the supplier or the buyer, you'll need to consider discrepancies and delays in reporting. Your VAT return. Supplier and buyer VAT returns. Persistent or material differences could lead to greater scrutiny. This is what we expect the UAE e-invoicing model to look like. There is much more to explore, including best practices, and what happens when things go wrong. Factors such as data quality, processes, and technology all play a crucial role. In subsequent updates, we'll explore these and other areas of e-invoicing in more detail. Keep an eye out for more in our e-invoicing express series on social media and on our website. Feel free to contact us directly for more information.